Hello and welcome back to another day of the chess grind. I'm playing as white. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Some people in the comments have suggested trying a different opening, so I'm going to try the London system out. Someone basically said that the um, King's Pawn opening can tend to get a little bit confusing and slow for new players. So I'm going to see if I can play a little bit better with the London system. Okay. Mm. I think I can be somewhat aggressive. If I'm being honest, that was a little bit of a misclick, but I'm totally okay with that. Okay. I think I'm going to go h3, h3, h3. Oh, okay. Let's see. What's his plan here? Hmm. Interesting. I'll develop. I mean, maybe he goes for the pawn. Okay. So I do have a move. I don't know if a bishop for a knight is worth it. It does kind of throw off his pawn structure. But then his queen's exposed. But is that really a big deal? Maybe I castle so I can at least protect f2 with the rook. Doesn't seem like the worst idea, right? Maybe I offer the trade here. Hmm. So if I take here and he puts his pawn on e4, I don't have a great move for my knight, so I think I'll just trade. Simp. Also, really awesome name. Ah la 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 la. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Okay. Hmm. This is somewhat problematic. Yeah, because I don't have a great place to put my knight afterwards. He's eyeing my bishop, which I understand. I think I just fall back here. I think falling back is the play here. I'd like to get my queen onto d2 so I can at least um, attack his uh, b4 knight there with the queen. Okay. He's got eyeballs down this diagonal. Oh, and he has this bishop set up here. Okay. It's more important here. I'll offer the trade and then just hop back here. I do have an attack on his queen, too. And e5 is protected with two pieces. So... I 
I'll go for this. I think it's a little bit more proactive. 95. This will force his queen to jump around a little bit at least. I have to be mindful of this pawn too. And I can't forget about this knight. The knight is hanging at the moment. So, okay, that's really interesting. So what's the play here? I think this is a trap. I think. Where can we do some damage to him? I have to protect this pawn. I mean, I want to go here, but something tells me it's like a trap, but I think I'll just go for it. Can't be that bad, right? Um, I need to think about snagging this pawn too at some point. It's basically a free piece. Sure, man, I'll attack your queen. He has three hanging pawns at the moment. Ah la la, la 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 la, has three hanging pawns. Okay. It'd be cool if I could get checkmate and then discover attack that, but doesn't look like it's going to work. Maybe I just attack something. And then try to get this discovered attack going. Hmm. I can attack this pawn. And then it also discovers an attack on the queen. I'm moving my knight around a lot. And I haven't done anything with the rooks in a while. And the queen's been really inactive this whole game too. But I think I'm playing okay. I'm just trying to punish his mistakes and his position. I'm trying not to get um, too much onto his side of the board. That was actually a comment that someone left yesterday on one of my videos. Was that uh, I have a tendency to attack the opponent's side of the board a little bit too much. Whereas I should probably play a little bit slower and just try to punish the uh, opponent's position and let them make more mistakes rather than being like hyper aggressive yeah okay so i thought that was kind of like the best move he could do there so it does protect now this pawn's protected there is still one pawn that's unprotected here hmm That's going to be undefended. Maybe just look for an in-between move. Ah, uh, oh well. Really good move by him. I didn't really see that coming. Good move, good move. Hmm. And I don't really have a great way to attack his queen either. I can't do this. Yeah, that's a nice find from him. I wasn't expecting him to do that. I was thinking a uh, queen c6 was just to protect the pawn. Yeah, a bit of a bummer there, but what can you do? I think we just move one of these. Sadly. Yeah, good move by him there. <clears throat> well played.
Oh my. A bit aggressive, are we? <laughs> Don't quite want to go for the trade. I think this is the move. So now he's all up in my business and he really hasn't developed a lot of his pieces or I guess two of his pieces really. So I think we'll be able to find some way to trap his queen in here. Goes b3, we take. Um, okay. Let's see. He's got a good position. Maybe the trade is just. Oh, I don't really. I really don't want to offer the trade. No, this is bad. That's bad. This is bad. That's bad. Hmm. I think I'll just put a defender on the bishop here. What if I just push this? Probably not the play, huh? <laughs> Do I learn nothing? <laughs> It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. It turns out the board is a really big place. <laughs> Ugh, my life. My life. Ugh. Oh boy. Ugh. I'm utterly embarrassed. Uh, there's no winning this one, is there? <laughs> there is no hope for this game. So sad. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I feel like there was more than one blunder there. <laughs> A la 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 strikes again.
You activate your bishop by moving it from the starting square. Good, good. Okay. So taking the knight was the play there, huh? Should have went with my gut, I guess. Bishop e2 is an inaccuracy. You missed an opportunity to win a pawn. Oops. Trades. Hmm. Interesting line there. Okay. Queen d7 is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. I kind of figured he was setting up to um, go to my king side, and I kind of thought he was using this knight um, to try to basically like defend the f7 square in case he got his king or his queen on uh, h4 there. So that's why I just went for the trade there. I think this move really threw me off. I found a way to win a pawn. Yeah. I think this was the move here. Queen c6 for him. That really kind of sealed the deal. Well, obviously besides that queen blunder. But here, I was really just fixated on the queen defending knight takes e4. What I didn't realize was that he had two attackers on c2 here. So... I'm not sure how I could have defended that. Because if I move the rook over, then he just takes the pawn here. So I wasn't really sure what the best play here was. I'm just pushing the pawn up. What does that do? Okay, so the pawn is safe. Oh, okay. I see what that does. So that prevents him from putting the knight here since the pawn would have been up here. Hmm. And c4 is defended by the knight. Interesting. I would not have seen that. And then c4 is defended by the knight and the pawn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a good move. I wish I would have seen this. I kind of just failed to ignore that his queen was staring down the c-file. This is a huge blunder, really. This permits the opponent to eventually win a knight. Well, that clearly didn't happen. <laughs> okay, sure. So putting the rook here to attack his queen. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So put the rook here. So even if he does want to capture a rook, then we have the exposed file to his queen. Interesting, okay, because there was basically nothing in front of this queen, so this would have been kind of a discovered attack on his queen if he would have jumped to e1 with his knight. Interesting. Yeah, that's a really good move there. Um, I don't really think about moves like that, like when he opens up his file, or he opens up a defender for his own queen, like what the attacker there is going to be. Hmm. Oh, that would have been a really bad move. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, so I think he basically kind of won the game in this position. This one knight move, even though the engine says it's a blunder, um, I think I followed up with an even better blunder. If that makes sense. <laughs> so what did I do here? So I recaptured. I felt like that was the only thing to do, but really good move by him, though. And then this position just kind of fell apart. What else could I have done here? Queen c1. Offer the trade. I entertained that idea, but I just felt like it was too early for a trade. And I was trying not to um, initiate queen trades when I was down three points of material. So... But we all know what the big mistake here was. Obviously, this pawn push here. I um I ignored this g7 bishop here kind of the whole game. 
there was so much going on in this little quadrant of the board that I kind of failed to look around the entire board and see what all the threats were. I think that's one of my weaknesses that I need to work on is uh, kind of getting tunnel visioned and kind of forgetting what all the active threats are. It's like a silence assassin back here. <laughs> all right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next game.